Greetings from Bagram Airfield. This is your AFN Afghanistan Freedom Watch update. I'm Petty Officer Dustin Diaz. The Uzbin Valley in eastern Afghanistan is now a safer place for Afghan civilians, and they have each other to thank. They turned in more than 400 pieces of insurgent ammunition to the French Brigade, Task Force Lafayette, August 4th through 6th. They not only told the soldiers where the rounds were, but they also risked their own safety by bringing the ammunition to the soldiers. Task Force engineers will destroy the ammunition. This year has seen Afghan civilians provide many tips to coalition forces, which will allow them to destroy the weapons, explosives, and ammunition before the insurgents can use it against the Afghan civilians. Operations in Afghanistan demand a lot from coalition forces. Senior Airman Chris Piles tells us about a program that ensures soldiers are physically and mentally ready to fight. Lock it in now. The soldiers from the 173rd Airborne Brigade Combat Team are participating in an evolving program dubbed One Shot, One Kill. Well, a lot of the skill sets we're teaching um, are uh, mental tactics, energy management, so you know everything that, that's usually um, impacted by the combat environment. Captain Travis Lanosco, along with fellow colleagues, initially introduced the One Shot, One Kill program during operations in Iraq. We've been interviewing a lot of uh, multiple deployers because they're kind of seen as our gold medalists. You know, and what we do is pass that knowledge on. So in a sense, we're not really the creators of the program, the soldiers are. The skill sets learned here help the soldiers in combat, Come on. as well as serve an important role in transitioning back home. Senior Airman Chris Piles, Bob Shank, Afghanistan.